Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would do some gel printing, and today I have the Buffalo plaid stencil that is in my shop, and it was kind of interesting, my husband was like, well, Buffalo plaid is traditionally, you know, black and white, and I said, no, I think it's actually red and black, but we're going to do it with green and red, and in fact, Buffalo plaid started out as just plaid that came over from Scotland here to the United States, but there was a company that started making clothing using the same pattern, the plaid pattern, and he had a herd of buffalo, so it got the name buffalo plaid. So what we're going to do is I've laid down the stencil on my 12 by 12 gel plate, and I've got some green heavy body acrylic paint. This is really old paint. I got it on a discount, so I'm just trying to use it up, and it's a really pretty shade of green. You don't want a whole lot of paint. You just want enough to cover your gel plate. I have a soft rubber brayer and we're going to roll this out if you have too much ink you'll get or too much paint you'll get brayer marks on your gel plate so i'm just going to come in here and smooth this paint out as best i can rolling it back and forth I'll go ahead and add some texture up here at the top. So I've got an old shot glass that I had in my stash and now it's in my craft room. So I'm just making some patterns. I will lift the stencil and then I'm going to allow this paint to dry for a minute or two. It depends on the paint. Some paints you're going to need to let dry for you know five ten minutes some paints are going to dry really quick it depends on the type of paint you're using and your environment is it really dry where you are is it damp where you are so it may take a little bit longer so i'm going to give this just a moment and then we'll continue with the next color this has been sitting for a little while and i think it's about ready but i thought i would mention that i put my stencils in a tub of water i have over here to the side that i have a mild detergent i'm using thieves cleaner i like it because it's not full of chemicals and then i will kind of swish it around a little bit and i've got some kitchen towels that i use in my craft room and i just use that to clean it up all right, so now that this is set here for a while, you can kind of test it if you go around the edge and you put your finger in the paint and you don't lift any of the paint. That's pretty much dry enough to move on. If you go too soon, it could smear the paint and blur your image. So that's why it's important to let it dry if you want a crisp image. So now I've got a red. This is a Master's Touch acrylic paint. And we're going to put a little bit of red on here. And I always forget to say this, don't open your new paint or old paint over your gel plate. You could get crusty bits falling out. And I just had some. All right, so you want a nice amount of paint, but not too much again. And we're going to brayer this all over smoothly. If you didn't know, my stencils measure eight and a half by 11. So I like to use them on my 12 by 12 gel plate because then I can get a full sheet of paper that I can use in my junk journals. All right, so I think I've got that paint pretty much covered. I've got a couple of book pages out of old dictionaries. So I'm just going to line this up smooth that out and then I've got another one to put up here and then I find I just use my hands to smooth it you can use your brayer on the back side the idea is that you want this paper to get full contact with the paint so that it will go all the way down through all the layers of paint and lift it up onto the paper I will tell you that some book pages are fragile and could tear or even peel apart. So you may want to test it before you do your final, okay, this is the project. And you may need to do something like glue another piece of paper to the back side or just use a different paper altogether. All right, I think I've, I've smoothed it out pretty good. So now I'm just going to gently lift it up. I'll start with this upper piece. So that green gets darker because of the red behind it, but it's got a neat little pattern there that I can use for mixed media projects. Now let's see how the plaid portion looks. Oh, I like it. 
So there is the plaid with the red and the green. And I know probably on your screen, it may look black, but it is a dark, dark, almost forest green. So if you use a little bit lighter green, when you put the red on it, it's gonna deepen that green a little bit darker. All right, so let's keep playing. I cleaned my stencil off, so I think this time, let's do red and gold. I wanna see how red and gold looks like. So I'm gonna put down red first and let it dry, and then I'll put down gold. This time I've got a piece of plastic here that I'm going to push into the paint to help remove some of it right here on this edge. All right, I'll remove the stencil and let this dry. The red has sat here for a little while, so I'm pretty confident that it's ready to go. I went did something else while I was waiting on the paint to dry. So I'm going to put gold on here. This, I think, is uh, antique gold. So we're going to give a nice, generous amount and put that all over the gel plate. I think I need a little bit more paint. All right, so I got another book page that I'm going to put on top. I think I may have used too much gold paint. I'm always a little bit overzealous with it because it's kind of transparent and I think I need more paint. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but it got most of it up. There's still a little bit on there. The gold kind of comes through a little bit. Let's go ahead and do the rest of this again. That kind of cleans up my gel plate just a little bit. All right, let's see how this side turned out. I may need to do it in reverse order. I may need to do the gold first and then the red. So we'll see how this turns out. I think it works pretty good. There's still a little bit on the gel plate so that I can do the gold again over that red. I think it looks pretty good. So let's add some more gold paint since we still have that red down. It'll be a little bit distressed looking, but I think I'm okay with that. I'm able to get one more faded print out of this. I think I had too much red paint when I went down the first time, but I like it. It's kind of distressed. You can see the book page just a little bit. All right, let's put gold paint on it one more time. That's a very faded, but it still has that buffalo plaid look to it. All right, so I'm going to set this aside to dry somewhere. Even though there's still a little bit of red on here, I think I'm going to go ahead and lay my stencil back down. And I may even kind of line it up with what was already on there. It's going to have a little bit of hints of red in it, so I think I'm going to put down some gold, and then I'm going to come back with green on top of it. I'm not going to do the whole gel plate. I'm just doing where the stencil is, so I'm just going to lift it and let this dry, and then we'll put green on. Okay, so the gold has been sitting for a little while, and it seems to be dry, so I'm going to go back with that same kind of a bright green that I used earlier. Again, I keep forgetting, don't open it over my gel plate. Okay, add a little bit of green here. I think I got way too much paint. If you have too much paint, just keep brayering off onto a scrap of paper to the side, and that'll help remove some of the excess paint. All right, so now I'm gonna get my book page, just to have a little bit of texture. A little bit of a texture there. Be fun to play with. I think I like that green and gold together. Isn't that pretty? I think it turned out really good. So here's what we made. We made a red and gold. We made the green and gold. And then I made a green and red together. So I think these are going to be fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing just a quick way to use these 
gel print plate and acrylic paint and a stencil to make some gel prints and I'm going to use these for elements in my Merry Little Christmas subscription box journal that I'll be starting. Alrighty everybody if you like this video give a thumbs up share it with your friends and come back on Mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time where I'll be using gel prints and stamps and stencils and tattered angels and digital images from Calico Collage to make a junk journal. Alright everybody have a fabulous day. Bye.